Really this project is cross-curricular and it um, looks at um, math skills particularly and it also has a lot of elements of science. I have to say that the Junior First Lego League and the work with Matronic is absolutely amazing in terms of innovation because it is embedding skills at the age of six that the children will be able to bring forward and use throughout their lives. We're at the Connects Finals here in the Radisson. Uh, we have 14 schools participate in 28 teams and their challenge was to build the wooden horse of Troy. So the idea is that it's, it's good engineering, fun engineering. They have to do the drawing first which represents the plan and they have to use that plan to build it. It has to be 3D, it has to have a moving part. But if you look around, there is no two alike. So this is where the individuality comes in, the creativity comes in. So this is a fantastic example of engineering combined with art. The Galway Education Centre are crucial. It's about creating the environment where these kids can express themselves, so that you leave to them the bits where they can innovate on. And we've all seen that regardless of the age, these kids can come up with great ideas, they can teach us. Hi, my name is Luke and I'm from Seatwise Education, Tala Dublin. And I am here today in Galway reporting on the first Lego League. Let's go have a look. A super event, 28 teams, action packed, uh, full of boys and girls who are just interested in, in robotics, using robotics. And we love that because we love people who have logical minds. I mean, we, we have absolutely no problems getting staff for referees, for judges, for uh, volunteering in, in general, and, and this particular event is a, is a great one. It gets everybody excited. Three, two, one, sumo! We started small last year, thanks to the Galway Education Centre and Bernard Kirk, where we ran a small event. I think we had about 24 robots and uh, maybe nine or ten schools. Today we had 68 robots uh, competing over up to 36 rounds. Uh, robotics combines creativity and design and designing the robot. Uh, combines mechanical and electrical engineering in building it and um, making the control circuit. Uh, combines computer programming and writing the program for it. It's no good bringing a robot to this competition that you know works once. The winners uh, work every single round and that is a massive achievement. We spent about three months on our robots and we had to uh, design them, we had to design them very well because that's one of the main parts. Then we had to manufacture and assemble and programming was the last bit. Hello and welcome to the City West Coding Club here in Tala County, Dublin. I really like coding. It's really fun. It's basically a game where you guide your ship around with your mouse and when you click you shoot a bullet and if the bullet hits a monster you get five points. We make games, do animations, we do pictures, we do funny stuff. It's always great to just put on the laptop and try and finish something that you haven't finished yet or start something from scratch. You have to click the aliens and when you click the aliens you get at least one point and, I th and the um, score that you have to get is 20 or more. My best score is about 33. In, in, in my day I think if you wanted to learn to program it was a lot, a lot of pretty dry and tough to learn code. There was no such fun editors or and definitely no coding clubs or anything like that. It was really self learning so I think this group environment is brilliant because it not only do they get to learn to program, but they get to learn to work in a group environment and learn to maybe work with their peers, and, and that's brilliant. I'm really surprised by the way the children took to it. Totally engrossed for the whole hour and a half every day. We can monitor them, we can see if they're struggling, and we can discreetly go around and help the ones that are struggling. They don't even know that we can see what, what they're doing. So we were able to go and help that child without her even having to put her hand up. So that was brilliant. And her confidence, you can see it throughout the week, her confidence really developed. And the mother said that it was just, that has been great for her. 
I like that on the Khan Academy, if you got stuck on a question, you could just go into the video and the teacher was good. And when you came out, you'd know how to do it. I think it helped me with some of the things that I was struggling with, you know, because it makes it makes it a lot easier. It explains it probably better than it does in our maths books. There was new stuff that I learned on it, different equations and all those things. Athletes started here in Ireland. We have seen triple, really, the, the level of engagement of students that engage with a mathletes-like process on the Khan Academy versus what hap was previously happening in Ireland. If we can really be world leaders at this, the people will look to Ireland and, and say, wow, Ireland's got it going on. And that's what I'd love to see happening out of this mathletes uh, competition.